see me what's going on i don't know if this is from yesterday's chat or if that's from, from, from now <laughs> but yo if you're up in here oh you're up in here yo i hope you're feeling a little bit better at least you know get some rest dude that this flu is like murdered this year dude like even the missus is still sick like she's still going to work it it's like damn i don't know what this strain of flu that we got this year is but man Get rest. Do what you can. Lay down. I hope you're in your comfy bed. That new mattress life. Yeah. Shout out to new mattress life. It's, it's about to get crazy, guys. So we have a Nintendo Spotlight to redo <laughs> due to a lot of technical difficulties that I didn't catch, um, which was weird because normally I'm on it when it comes to the uh, audio end, and I had double audio for some reason. Just double check and make sure that that is being avoided this time around and it seems to be the case just gonna double check that audio and then i just have to run through this real quick okay yeah that game volume is like that and no i didn't mean to force the interlace Let's go like right there. Right there. Let's see. Is that any better for you guys? To redo, are you going to literally act all surprised by the mechanics again? No, no, no. <laughs> when I redo three things, I, I do not act surprised anymore. I just go in and instead try to explain what I can remember about the game. Um, since I haven't played it since the last time we tried to do Spotlight, it's Dimension Drive that we're going to jump into. Um, I'm upset because I wanted this to be the Monday episode, and instead I had to post up something else at 10 a.m. this morning. Um, Phantom, Phantom Break, uh, what was Phantom Breakers. So that's up on the YouTube. Pokemon is finished. Last two episodes went up earlier today. Uh, I still got to do thumbnails for those two. Well, I had the thumbnails. I uploaded those two, but I got to do the thumbnails for the rest of them anyway. So that's, it is what it is. Um, Resident Evil Revelations 2 started up on the YouTube channel today. That'll be going up all week. Um, I think I gave it going forward the 12 and 2 p.m. slots. I got to double check that, but I think those are the slots. If not, I'm going to change it to those just because that just makes more sense since I don't have anything there. And uh, the Nintendo Spotlights will continue to be at 10 a.m. Tomorrow you'll get four kids. And then Dimension Drive will be on Wednesday, which is this episode that you guys are watching now. So you get to see it a little bit early here on Twitch, which is awesome. And then we're going to jump into a little bit of Skyrim. I I'm, feel I'm feeling it today. I figure, you know what, let's play a little Skyrim afterwards why the hell not it's not an official series but um i i feel like you know with the end is nigh coming out tomorrow and then mutant muds coming out on f the 14th thursday um really want to play those for nintendo spotlight so i figure we catch up on some nintendo spotlight stuff have a little bit of fun and then we'll start up the next series which we got a bunch of indie stuff that i gotta uh knock out Skyrim should be an official series, bro. We'll see, we'll see, because man, that game is long. And I, I played Fallout 4. I did a whole series on Fallout 4. My God, that took a long time. That took a lot of chunk out of my life. Um, we'll see, we'll see. We'll play it by ear with that one. Uh, we'll see how I feel after tonight. But uh, guys, I gotta run to the restroom real quick. My stomach has been, uh, whew, has has not been acting. It has not been cooperating with me. TMI, so I'll be right back.
have no idea what IJS means. Can, can someone explain? I need an adult. I need an adult up in here to explain for me. Please, sir. Fallout 4 was a terrible game, though. I liked Fallout 4. Uh -huh. Dang. I liked that game. It was cool. I liked it enough to beat it once, at least. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do one last audio check, and then we're gonna get things started here. Hopefully we're good. We'll see. We'll wait for my audio to come up. I'm just saying, yo, these acronyms, man. I can't keep up with you kids and your acronyms and your DOTAs and your MOBAs. Okay, we still need to lower that game audio. That issue is low. I mean, high. Let's see. Oh, whoop. I didn't want to lower it that low. Jeez, my goodness. Let's try at the 42 marker. Let's see if that helps a little bit. We'll see. Fallout 3 greater than Fallout 4? I mean, probably. I didn't play enough of Fallout 3 to really, really go. I IJS is a CB acronym? Yo, these kids, man. These kids. Let's see. Did that work? I, this is such a big delay. Why is Twitch giving me such a huge delay? This is ridiculous. Yo, Martian Cat, thank you for the host. Been using it since uh, since AOL, yo. I think that's good. Yeah, that sounds much better. How did that sound to you guys? Yo, Klee, thank you so much for the host. Sonic Master, Space by 3D, John Lee Dickinson, I am Chongo, Saffron Turtle, It's Me Pretty Tony, The Plinkster, Santa Destroyer, Strike Quick, Twin World, and Martian Cat. Y'all are amazing people. Thank you for them hosts. Them host arenos. I sound fine? Good, good, good. Because, man, it was a cluster F. Dude, <laughs> tell me how I didn't get called out on the echo that was happening through the entire Game Awards stream, including Dimension Drive. How did that fly? How did that fly? He gave you a host? Really? Yeah, he's been hosting the channel. <laughs> Alright, so I must be on a delay on this end, but it seems like everyone's happy with what's going on here. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, no, I know he's your nephew. I knows, I knows it. I was poking fun at him the other night because <laughs> we were talking about PC games and I was like, you take after your uncle CV, don't you? With the PC gaming. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right, yo. We're here, we're ready, we're willing, we're able. But apparently my stream labels isn't ready because it ain't refreshing anything right now. Yo, what's happening? <laughs> Everything took a giant dump, man. All I did was do do an NVIDIA update. It was a graphics card update. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever been in this channel simultaneously with him. Uh, you know what? Actually, Saturday... It was really funny. You dipped out, he came in, he dipped out, you came in. That was funny. Now that I think about it, that's exactly what happened Saturday night. <laughs> oh man, that's really funny. Are you guys the same people? Are y'all the same people? Yo. That is funny. It's almost like y'all know. When the other one he, he's coming to take over my, uh, to my place over christmas nice nice are you guys gonna do like a three team destiny team for destiny 2 dude <laughs> oh man so you might see him on the stream nice nice oh yeah and without further ado mario hit it off here we go there we go all right ladies and gentlemen we have been working all day and now it's after work i'm joe Ow. I don't know why that hurt. <laughs> and this is Nintendo Spotlight, which I forgot to highlight the, uh, the thing. So we're going to do that over. <laughs> this is going to be one of those nights, guys. We're in for it. We're in for the long haul. God, I'm glad everybody is here. Oh, my God. No, he's not bringing his computer. Yo. I don't know. Ooh. Cloud saves and stuff, right? And cloud gaming. 
leave the computer on in one place, play it in another, right? Don't you guys have that thing? Joe so composed after almost being killed. <laughs> Thought you'd be a bit more pale and shaky after that. I wasn't in it, though. I wasn't anywhere near it. I, it, it was weird. So, yeah, but <laughs> let's talk about this. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very blunt. Let's talk about this asshat that uh, tried to do some crap at a uh, uh, gosh Port Authority earlier today. Um, as far as I know, only a few people have been injured. I don't know what the count is right now. I hope that it hasn't gone any higher. But that was strange. Like I I got to the train to my train station. I walked up to the train station. And because my train is just down the hill from where I live, and I got I get the the New York City notifications like like whenever something happens in the city, if there's uh, someone that's lost and has like um, or has like a um, they're lost and they have like dementia or like you know different um, disorders that are ha that are with that person like I get the notifications on that I get the notifications on like the weather I get the notifications on accidents and all that stuff and if there's like train delays and stuff I get that all immediately text message to me so when it happens in the moment I get it because that's gonna help me get to work on time and like figure out if I need to do some if I need to reschedule something work related because of issues happening around the city so I got that right as right after it happened a few minutes after it happened and I was I just got to the train station I was like what the hell is this so I mean I got to I got to work on time and everything like that my train actually where I get off is a few stops from like 34th Street but on the east side so like Port Authority is on the west side of Manhattan and I work on the Upper East Side, so like I am nowhere remotely close to that area where it happened. I saw the video L1 linked it into Discord. I was like, "What the hell is going on?" Like, dude, it's crazy. Damn, dude, damn, you live in New York. Well, good to know you made it out right. All right. Oh, did, I mean, I was, I was fine. I mean, uh, everyone in Port Authority, I'm sure, was freaking scared as all hell when that actually happened. But yeah, I'm nowhere. I. I say I'm nowhere near it, but like I'm, I work in Manhattan, but where I'm, I was at is nowhere like close in the vicinity of where that happened. Um, but they captured the guy, the dude, I guess he was trying to do a suicide bombing and failed at it. And I, yeah, it's just all sorts of weird crap, but, um, they got him. As soon as it happened, because I mean he was on the floor. Uh, stupid idiot, man. It's it's it's, it's stupid. It, it really is. It, that's the that's the crap that's just like, come on. <laughs> you you really trying to scare people and no no it's just not it's not how it works. Not how it works. Yo, cool bad. What's going on? Amber Alerts, thank you, yes. I mean, you get them on the iPhones, but I get, like, every notification from this city whenever something happens, so sometimes you might hear my phone buzz off randomly. It might pick up on the mic every now and again. That's usually one of those New York City notifications on the stream. I'm a little psycho like that. What is the meaning of this? Paniathy, Athena, and what metal gaming? If I was in charge over at Port Authority, he would have done <laughs> from his injuries yo is he st i mean is the dude still i don't even want to know man <laughs> just send that dude away i'm out of there but yeah the, i mean this the city seemed to have actually been on it like right as soon as it happened which was great i mean i, I they mentioned the time being like 7 30 i was waiting for my train around uh i got to the train station at like 7 25 and around 7.30 is when I got the text message. So, like, that, it probably, in reality, probably happened at, like, 7.15, 7.20-ish or something like that. But that notification just went out, like, freaking that, dude. Like, that was crazy. And then... <laughs> 
typical New York City, like, we, <laughs> we all get mad that we're gonna be late getting to work because of a train delay. We don't care. We didn't care what was happening. Nobody at my train station cared what was happening. I was like, oh my god, we're gonna be, our train's gonna be packed and all this crap. I'm like, oh my god. But it, it, I mean, it's true. It's stupid. I don't mean to laugh at it, but man, that dude's an idiot. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, cool bad. We all thought Joe <laughs> thought of Joe the second we saw the new dude. And I and I appreciate like seriously, thank you guys for checking out. I got so confused. Dead Eye was the first one was like, "Yo, Joe, you is you okay?" I was like, "Huh?" Like it. Uh, that's how quickly like my mind just like goes to the next thing. I don't know. That's like a bad thing sometimes when it when it comes to, <laughs> to real life. Um. And I was like, huh? And then he was like, oh, and then L1 hit me up with a link. I was like, ah, yes, yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good. Like, I was nowhere near where that happened. Um, that is not on my train route. But, um, thank uh, thankfully, freaking, I have things that, like, the trains are running stupid slow right now, rightfully slow, rightfully so. Like, I'm sure there's police everywhere all over the city now checking up on, like, every stop and all that stuff. That's usually what happens when these sort of things happen is, like, you'll get police every other station sort of on, like, a, not, not so much, like, the next alert, but for preventative just to make sure everything's running smooth and stuff. Like, my train stopped coming home at least four or five times. Hey, stop it. I get paid today, man. You take that you, you take that on over to the F train. Yo, F train used to be my jam, dude. F train used to be uh that that's actually where where uh, I was born in Lower East Side. My F train right there, Second Avenue station. That was my train right there. We don't we don't touch the F train for as much crap as I give it. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Adarashi, what's going on, dude? But yo, no, seriously, thank you guys for for checking in. I appreciate it. If, if for a moment there, I was like, oh damn, oh dude, I, I I didn't mean to like worry you guys. So I'll make sure next time something like that happens, I will immediately just post on Discord. I'm alive. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I was just repeating what that one comedian comedian said about the see something say something signs. <laughs> oh my god yo but all right let's get let's get things started yo adarashi how you doing welcome cool bat thank you for dropping in l1 it is always good to see you sir yes it is i prince vegeta all right let's crap let's get this crap started let's go Happier times right now, happier times. Ah, we home? We home? We about to play some video games? <laughs> it is good to see me too? <laughs> Alright, let's go. We're gonna do our intro and get started with this. Enough, enough, uh, crappy real life talk. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working all day. Now it's after work. I'm Joe. Welcome back to Nintendo Spotlight, where every week, Nintendo is dropping hot fire into the eShop, well, not Nintendo themselves, but the indie devs, the third parties, your second parties, and then occasionally Nintendo graces us, graces us with their presence once a month with a new game, uh, or sometimes with DLC that I'm going to get completely lost in down the road. <laughs> and today we have Dimension Drive, which um, this was a game that I saw a couple months back. I feel like this was in uh, one of the Nindies uh, show I think this is a Nindy showcase game and the trailer was really interesting you've got these it's a top-down shooter and it's based on a comic book apparently or it has a comic something like that and the game mechanic relies on you shifting dimensions and going getting through certain areas with one ship on one side of the screen and then it actually splits the screen and you're moving around and you're split you're shifting dimensions between one ship going back and forth left to right so those of you who are watching the live stream uh right now might have seen this a couple days ago during the game awards and i the audio just went to crap on that one so i'm redoing it um we're gonna start from our save here and we're gonna go actually wait is it not gonna let us go it might not let us go back let's start a new slot i wanted to go to 
uh, the beginning again. This will give us, you know, our um, a little bit of story in depth and all that stuff, and then we'll go in because the game does have a story too oddly enough um i'm in this game for the gameplay which is odd to say because you guys know i'm a story person so here we go dimension drive uh we are at world 1-1 arrival the outer sector of fame the seeker gate being much faster and efficient than hyperspace serves as a transport means for spaceships huh all right oh here we go so we start off with our our one power up. Yo, CB! What happened? The known universe. An endless tangle Here we go, Adarashi, this is for you. ...where past, present, and future turn into each other. Millennia ago, a race took up arms against all the others. The Asajals. Violence and bloodthirst. The Asajals waged a total war for universal control. Having mastered FTL travel, the Asajals conquered thousands of civilizations. Galaxy after galaxy fell to the Asajal Empire. And within mere centuries, they controlled almost the whole universe. Knees, the Asajal's supreme leader, had become the scourge of the cosmos. Made immortal by cybernetics, Knees' hunger for power couldn't be sated. Driven by relentless warmongering, his scientists developed something marvelous and terrifying. Interdimensional travel. The devices that made it possible were known as dimension drives. Equipped with dimension drives, Nii's fleet rampaged across the infinite dimensions. Nii's finally had the endless war he craved. Every newly discovered universe fell under the power of the dimension drives. The Asajals remained undefeated. The dimensional wars could have lasted for eternity. Hadn't it been for the Manticore, a legendary starship capable of dimensional jump. The Manticore is the ultimate combat ship. Its mystery matching its power. It's the last hope of the universe. The only chance of stopping the dimensional wars. The Manticore is everything that stands between these and his eternal wars. My name is Jacqueline Tywood. I'm the last survivor of the Dalkian race, and captain of the Manticore. This is my story. Alright, here we go. The day is... The day the Aja Jewels attacked planet Aldon, I was just a little girl. I know, I know this sounds weird saying it my, the way I'm talking. Um, and I know this is a dream. I know it's not real. I know that, but I can still feel the fear and desperation of that day. My home, my family, all my loved ones, all of Aldon destroyed. Years have passed. I'm not a child anymore, and now, even in another dimension, they found me again. But this time, it will be different. This time, I'm ready. Jack, Jack, wake up. We've get, made it to the portal. There's something you should see. Yo, got that pink controller out? <laughs> Joe means business. All right, so right now we just be, we're able to fire and switch. So here we go. Switch it around. I'm going to the left side. You can see my ship switching around as I press the B button to switch and Y to shoot. Pretty standard stuff right now. But notice that it's not two ships on the screen, so I can kind of use that as an advantage to uh, evade something if I ever need to. CB Smokehouse? Wait, I gotta read what's happening here. Got that pin control out. Joe means business today. Yo, Joe always means business. And then we got my meter up on top. That shows... Hello. Boom. Boom. That meter up on top shows my energy for my beam. Been asking the locals about the idea of having a restaurant for everyone. And everyone has been overwhelmingly positive. Dude, that is dope. That is dope. Yo. If you can pull that off, man. Yo. 
Where's my ticket? I gotta go. I gotta go to Colorado. CB Smokehouse. I'm telling you, man. Freaking all the stuff you, you're always creating, dude. It's like right up your alley. <laughs> CB Smokehouse. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here's our first boss. Blade Destroyer. Let's go. It's a fusion restaurant. I fuse Mexican with American barbecue, so I'll serve things like smoked brisket burritos or smoked brisket tacos. The other meat options will be smoked pork or smoked chicken. All in burrito talk all in burritos, tacos. Oh boy. Hello. Oh god. Boom. Alright, gotta pay attention to this one. <laughs> but yo, that all sounds delicious. <laughs> I want it. Can I have? Can I has? How could this happen, Vera? How could they find my planet again? Were we followed? Negative, Jack. The Ajajo fleet reached Maine well before we entered the sector. We are done here. I tried smoke brisket burritos a few weeks ago. Came out incredible. Damn, dude. Damn. Yo, I... That, that sounds so good, though. <laughs> CB, you're making me hungry. I had cereal for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I was too lazy to cook. Oh man, so my bad. I forgot to mention this is twelve ninety nine on the eShop. It's digital only and from two awesome studios. Um, I also forgot to put out the tweet to try to invite two awesome studios in here or someone from here. <laughs> so if y'all want to retweet that tweet that I just posted for two awesome studios to jump in and check it out, maybe we could get them in here and have a good time. <laughs> I would also serve beer and specialty margaritas. Yo, you already you you already have me sold, CP, with food. Forget it. That's it. I'm sold. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yo, before we move on, real quick, we had a couple random followers that I missed out on. I didn't miss out on. They followed me after we closed out stream last night. So. I wanna I wanna shout these guys out right now. Guitar Freak12345, Fada, which followed me on Twitter. I gotta check him out. And Massacre234. So thank you guys for the mysterious follows after the stream was over. And um, we're gonna continue on here. Dimension Drive. Oh no, he was asking how much. It's uh $12.99. If someone wants to drop that into chat. Ah, y'all are retweeted it! <laughs> I'm Magio and L1. Oh my god. I love you guys. Y'all straight fools. I put the gif of me throwing the chair or getting ready to throw the chair. That was one of the gifts that I had because I had more room. So I said I have enough room to throw the chair. So it's me throwing the chair. I'm an idiot. Oh man, moving on. World 1-2. All right, let's go. So data cubes are, um, are what we find throughout each level. And I guess there's, uh, there's a set amount for each stage that you find. And as you get more data cubes, you can unlock different beams. And I really want that bullet hell type one that's like right there. That's one of the reasons why I say this game is right up my alley. Top down shooters are a guilty pleasure of mine. There are so many of them out. I like, I need them. Not here, yo, Panage, what's going on? Dwellers of the planet, this is Lord Nye, sovereign of the multiverse. You have the honor of becoming part of the Ashajul Empire. Submit, or I shall have my fleet nuke you, or nuke you from orbit. That was a typo there. I saw that. Then we better hurry, Vera. The Ashajuls are already in, vein, in the vein orbit. The orbital, the orbital debris files doesn't appear in my charts. Analyzing, they've Brother blown up in, up in space, Jack. Draco. I knew you'd come. Thank you for the host, Draco. Yo, homie, what's going on, dude? 
What up, everybody from Draco Stream? I'm Joe. We're playing some uh, Dimension Drive for Nintendo Spotlight tonight. I'm a Nintendo streamer. We're playing this on Nintendo Switch. Uh, just think what they do if they get to the surface. Engine's full ahead. Let's go get them. So the more I gauge support, the more... Oh man, I picked the wrong game to try to reach at. My bad, guys. Give me a couple minutes here. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. I ain't forget you, CB. I ain't forget you. Ah! Oh, God. There we go. Okay. Oh, no! Wah, 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 wah. We got two lives left. So the more I get support, the more I believe this restaurant thing is going to happen. Dude, I'm telling you, man. You have something unique there. Now you just have to find the right location of where something like that would work. Like, where in Colorado do you think that would work exactly? Once you find that, dude, you're set. Are you kidding me? God, oh god, oh god, oh god. That was a little too close call. Yeah, but this music is on point. Oh, no. I'm not paying attention. I think my brain might get up. Oh, I missed something. I think my brain might explode if I play this game. I want it. <laughs> Yo. It's funny, like, L1, I feel like you and I have similar tastes when it comes to a lot of, like, these weird gen like genres. Like, these weird re revitalized genres that have, like, these weird twists and... Uh, I don't know, BRB, yo, Draco, no way. Le Draco. I just can't imagine playing this game on hardcore. One day we'll get there, maybe next year. Oh, I lost my multiplier. Damn it. Oh, crap. Jeez, I'm losing everything right now. Like, it's funny, too, because some of this kind of reminds me of uh, a little bit of uh, our type Just a little bit in terms of, like, the ships that you see. Mother mercy. Ugh. Oh, it's with all the doggies. Oh, the doggies. All right, we're going to retry that again. I see this as one of those why did you do this to yourself games? Yo. <laughs> Yo, Le Draco. Welcome back. Wait, that's your dog emo? Oh, I know this. I should know this. I've seen this. Sorry, it's been a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I think we died a lot during the stage <laughs> when I played it the last time. So let's try to die less this time. Oh my God! I will end you, multiplier, right now. Ah! Come on. There we go. I think that emote means I have one of the best emotes on Twitch, yo. True story, though? True story? Courtesy of OK Cunning, yo. Cunning's the man, yo. Cunning, if you're watching this afterwards, we miss you, buddy. Catch you soon. Yo, but Draco, how you doing? What were you streaming, buddy? What were you streaming, buddy? Oh boy. Checkpoint. 
Give me that, that checkpoint. Oh, crappies. Woo! Got him. Yo, strike quick! Dodge! Yo, strike quick, what's going on? <laughs> How's it going, Omi? Yo. Oh my gosh, it's good to see you here. How? Damn. It's crazy, man. You, you, the, the, can we, can we get a shout out for Strike Quick, man? Talk about freaking dedication right now, dude. You're insane. Dude, you're like five hours ahead of me. It is late. Boss oh, fight, let's go. We made it. All right, here we go. Yo, laying in bed, you know, you know it's 3 a.m. Jiminy Christmas, man. Out of control. Can we get them Joe the switches up in the chat? Them hearts up in the chat for Strike Quick. He is indeed the homie. All right, here we go. Oh crap! I totally ruined that. All right, let's go. That's right, Strike Quick. You won the RE6 code, right? Woo! Seems like we torn a hole in their formation. Let's get closer to Vayne, Vera. Roger that, Jack. Re entry window. Window. Confirmed. Initiating descent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Look at us. We got A rank, too. Come on, man. And there we go. All right. Just want to pull that up just in case. Bam. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One of my other favorite streamers is German. I've learned a little bit of German watching his streams. Damn, that's cool. That's awesome. When you can learn another language just by watching someone else and under starting to understand certain words, even if it's just like a handful of it, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of those. I will end up offending somebody by mispronouncing it. <laughs> Did I? Don't know. Oh, man. Someone won an RE6 code. <laughs> I whispered it to somebody. I have no idea. Rip. <laughs> Who won it? <laughs> Wait, didn't Toby win? I think Toby won. Tea time with Toby, I think, won. I have no idea. My memory's bad. Deadeye always wins no matter what happens. We just remember Deadeye always wins. That's just what happens. Well, now I'm here in the land of Deutsch, so I'll be I'll be the new I'll be the new fave, yo. True story. ABBA, something about ABBA? I know ABBA. I can rock some ABBA. Super super na 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 na. See, see, I can rock some ABBA. If you change your mind, <laughs> Honey, I'm still free. Take a chance on me. <laughs> Take a chance on me. There we go. Alright, that's it. I'm done. That's enough clipping for tonight. There you go. There's your one clip. <laughs> oh, man. I'm taking my language course. Sorry, my spelling is off. Yo. A hell of a lot better than half of us up in here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I have priority distress call from Vane Senatorial Comms channel. It's present Koro herself. Patched her on my screen. By the abyss, a friendly face at last. Thank goodness you're back, Jack. Wish I'd come back earlier. What's your status? Admiral Tsukiria is leading our defense efforts sector wide. Honestly, Jack, we don't stand a chance to resist that offensive much longer. All we can do is buy you some time until you come up with a plan, but our fleet is not enough. I'll contact the Admiral and join the operation, Madam President, over and out. 
We have a navigational solution to the battle zone. About time we saved an entire planet. Care to join? This time, Vera. This time I will. Let's go get them. Oh yeah. That was, uh, that I went from Super Trooper to take a chance on me. <laughs> Approaching battle zone, multiple hostile contacts. The Asha tools were expecting us. Vera, this is all my fault. I must fix this, whatever it takes. Let's go get this is the one we were jamming out to and I died a million times. So like I said, data cubes will eventually unlock those power-ups if we have enough of them. Hello. Oh, crappies. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I think the cat is there. Give me a second. Wow, that screen is like shaking. I don't know where that sound came from. It's like a loud thud. I thought it was the cat dropping down. I guess it's a door. Apparently not. Oh yeah. Freaking love you guys, yo. The love is real. Yo, strike quick. Right here, homie. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Come on, man! Greeting my friends. Huh. Man, I'm, I, 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 I'm gonna butcher that pronunciation. I don't even know how to do the, the, uh, the two dots on the, on the U. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Oh man, but cool that I went from I went from Super Trooper by ABBA to another ABBA song called "Take a Chance on Me." <laughs> what was this? Uh, ABBA was Swedish, right? See now we now we got me looking up ABBA. Come on, man. Yep, there was a Swedish pop group. There we go. I was like, I think they're Swedish. <laughs> There you go. You you, you got a. <laughs> you got your ABBA. You got your ABBA education. No, don't restart. No, we were doing so good. We got all the power ups. Damn it. Grusnik. Oh, I'm gonna be terrible at that. Damn it. Oh, mother of mercy, I wasn't looking at that side. Computer mouse is in the way. Oh, that's fantastic. It's like right in the midst of my battlefield. Checkpoint. There we go. Fare thee well, Joe. Yo, L1. Take care of yourself, homie. Dude, can we get some love for L1 up in the chat? Have a great night, man. Throw some Joe after switches, some hearts up in the chat. I would do it, but homie, I'm in the midst of a battlefield. And it ain't about love. Yo, this song, though. What? Okay, okay, here we go. Got him. What's happening? There we go. Better, Nana. 
no, 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 no. Make it to the boss. I apologize for not jumping into the chat. <laughs> oh god. I said, dude, the test covers the material that you that you fail 36% of the time in the semester. How did the, that 30% 36% fight its way into your brain without study? Easy cheating cheating, Kala. Like, I should go study then? You got it, but yo. Fathering with CB. That should be a YouTube series right there. I said, how? He said, I just am. <laughs> Tell me he didn't need to study for it because he's going to get an A. Oh, man. Yo. Sometimes you just got it all in here. <laughs> I never had it all in there. Unless it was science class. Up until chemistry. <laughs> Once chemistry came, nah. Uh, uh, that, was, that was a whole different ball game. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Isn't this supposed to be a boss fight? What happened to the boss? Oh god. Ah. Ah. No, I missed the data cube there. Oh no. Good job. We're getting to the rendezvous point. Incoming transition from Vein High Command Center encrypted. Patching through. By the abyss, Farah. Look at those craters on the surface. If we don't stop Yaja Jewels, Vein will go to the same way as Aldon. Must do something. Oh, she and Mini Christmas. We got an A somehow. Okay, I'll take it. I'll allow it. Nobody has chemistry all up there. Yo, there were people in my class, man. They they had that down packed. Oh, man. You got it, bub. Oh, man, I can never do this well Do well in this game. Yo, it's like trial and error with this game. Not sure, I won't lie. At 13, I think I had a D average in every class. I'd be happy if I <laughs> had an average in every class. Yo, he's going to get there. He's going to get there. Positive vibes. Positive vibes happening right now. Oh, yeah, he's going to get there. Oh, yeah. What? 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 Ooh, 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 macho man says the grades are gonna be the cream of the crop. Seeing the tree, the studying, the power to coming together. It's like studying the brain becoming one, like the mega powers the king. You can't let that crumble. I'm just gonna keep at it with the school and the studies. Oh yeah, macho man out. There we go. After Morphe. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> CV! <laughs> Can I allow that on? I think YouTube might flag that. <laughs> They've been flagging everything lately. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I kid, I kid. Oh man. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, moving on to level four. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. Admiral Takira speaking. Identify. Abyss, take me. It's the Manticore Jack. I thought we lost you out in the outer, in the outer sector when you went out to spy on the Aja Jewel. Sir, Captain Tywood's reporting for duty. Sorry, I vanished like that, Admiral. It's quite a long story. There was fire. There was everything. I missed the data cube. I'm very upset at myself. Uh, come on, Jack. Drop the formalities. I raised you as my own daughter. I'm happy to see you're alive. And I'm happy to be back home. So what have you learned about the Aja Jewel's plan? I followed them through the uncharted sector of the Janissary Quadrant. I tried to inflict maximum damage, but they didn't seem to be interested in fighting back. They follow the pattern, jump to a new sector, destroy any civilization they find there. Then they jump over to a new system, ignoring the planets they destroy as if they were looking for something. I'm afraid that's not very useful. But at least you made it back in time to defend Vane. I hope it's not too late. This is all my fault. If I hadn't come to Vane when I was a child, the Aja Jewels won't be here. I'm the only. I'm the one bringing this down on everybody. Stop it, Jack. Vane is your planet. You weren't born here, but it is yours as much as it is mine. None of this is your fault. 
Only that tyrant Nice is to blame. And we'll make them pay dearly. We've managed to keep their smaller warships at bay for now, but their destroyers are too much for our fleet. They're enforcing an orbital blockade. Our supply lines to the capital city are cut. Their shields seem to be linked. We lack, we lack the firepower to bring them down simultaneously, but if somebody could be in there in more place than one. I see what you did there. The Manticore can be in two places at one at the same time. I'll take care of those destroyers. Keep the rest of the fleet busy while I deal with them. Woo. Going to lurker mode, yo! <laughs> oh no, Shri okay fam, stayed up to my- <clears throat> Stayed up to make sure I could jump into chat. Be I'll be in later this week, yo. Strike quick, can we get some love for Strike quick up in the chat? If you're not following him, he's an awesome, awesome chill dude. Amazing variety streamer as well. Hit him up with the follow, jump into your stream, show him that love. He, my man went went from the States, moved over to Austria to uh, learn another language, do some amazing humanitarian things down there, down the road. He's got plans out there. So, strike quick. Love you, brother, man. Joe after switches, hearts up in the chat. CB, don't you go into lurk. <laughs> CB, don't you go into lurk mode. You hear me? Don't you go to lurk mode, CB. All right? All right? There you go. I hope you feel better from that one. <laughs> Oh, man. Bia, let's go. Let's keep it going. Ha. Ah, this was the other hype music that I remember. I'm in lurker mode. I don't want you to get YT banned on my account. <laughs> Dude, you're fine. Oh, my God. You're good. You're good. Oh, this is hilarious, yo. <laughs> we must be careful. Even with Tokiria's assistance, those destroyers are well protected. Affirmative. They've deployed multiple laser cannons. They're fire patterns from an impreg impregnable cobweb. We need to pinpoint accuracy to slip through the net using dimensional jumps. We still have this, the surprise factor. They aren't expecting the Manticore and her dimension tribe. Let's go. Let's go I called YT hit. <laughs> like bits of this remind me of Gradius also. In terms of, like, the way those ships on the right-hand side flow down, there were ships like that in Gradius that I remember doing that, and, oh my god, it, it just, it looked beautiful. These guys right here that I'm talking about. Like, there's so many video games that I can, like, just throw out there, whether they were side-scrolling or top-down like this, that I'm just like, oh, this is so reminiscent. Hello. There we go. Here we go, here we go. And boom, here we go. Okay, I am one data cube away. Hello, whoa! I ain't playing no games, what was that? What the hell was that? Jeez, that was insane. Checkpoint. Oh my god. Next one should be boss, if I remember. If we make it up there, too. That's another thing. <clears throat> oh, crap. Keep losing my multiplier, man. I'm like, ugh. But welcome, everybody. Checkpoint. Those jumping in, thank you. Tuning in. I'm Joe. This is Nintendo Spotlight. We are showcasing tonight um, Dimension Drive from from two awesome studios for $12.99 on the Nintendo Switch eShop Digital only right now. We're fighting the final boss of World 1, uh, the Dual Core. The Dual Core battleship is one of the biggest ships in the Ajao Jewel fleet. This massive craft is powered by two Link Dimension Drives. Uh, the external armor is virtually invulnerable to small weapons and attacking its inner core at short range is extremely dangerous So check it They're They're throwing they're throwing this at the next level right now. Let's go Oh boy Alright, 
right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, crap. I went in the wrong one. Is that what happened? Yep. There we go. Woo! Come on. We got this. Wow, that worked out really successful. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh crap, that was the wrong one. <laughs> here we go. Oh god, no, oh no. Damn it. Holy mackerel, this game looks hectic. Yo, 1,000 hours, 1K. How the hell are you doing, dude? My god, yo, we got an OG up in here in 1K, guys. Yo, 1K, how are you doing, dude? What what time is it your time? Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm trying to do tricks. It ain't happening. It ain't happening here. That's fine. We'll let that life run out. We got it this time. I'm good, man. Ha I have seen you about. Sorry. Sorry, I haven't been around. Yo, dude, it's all good, man. Freaking, you've been, like, doing some traveling around, too, right? 3 p.m. NZT, finally back after a long six months travel. Dude. I found that out from OK Cunning a while back. I was like, damn, good for him, though. Like, just traveling around. I heard you met Santa Destroyer. Like, just randomly went out, went out and about at one point. <laughs> like, that's pretty awesome. Just like, oh, hey, whoa, in your travels, just meeting people that you've met online on Twitch. Here we go. But, dude, I'm glad to see you doing well, man. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. Ah. Got him. Oh, yeah. You might have won this battle, Dark Young Woman. But your planet is nothing but ashes. Save me your speeches. What the hell are you doing in this sector? Oh, it means something to you? To me, it is just a speck of dust like a million others in the conquest of the multiverse. Jack, voice recognition patterns indicate he's hiding something. I didn't expect to cover anything, but now we know they seek something in vain. Good job, Jack. The Aja Jewels are retreating from Vane. We've reestablished the comms links to the capital. Jack, in the name of my planet, I thank you for your help. We wouldn't have survived a minute longer. Not so fast, Madam President. This is not over. The Aja Jewels are after something. I think it's nearby. Now that you mention it, before attacking the planet, they went for the portal and then the space station. They're both based on tech that predates our civilization. Yes, it's secret technology. All vain children have heard of the legends about the mysterious seekers and their ancient culture. But that doesn't explain why. what are the Aja Jewels looking for and why. Why here? There's a seeker artifact strewn across 2,000 galaxies. Jack, we have a clue. Extra extrapolating from residual energy patterns of the Aja, Aja Jewel fleet, I have estimated their approximate jump coordinates. I know where they're headed. Great, Farrah. Let's follow them, Madam President. I won't keep you, Jack. Your mission in vain is complete. We, we will heal our wounds, and vain will flourish again. I promise, but the galaxy We're still needs here. you. Hoi. Oh my goodness. This looks like a game, great a great game for reading, chat. I know, right? And this is actually the perfect place to leave 
this episode of Nintendo Spotlight finally proper this time. We're at World 2, which is great. Um, this was just to give you a little bit of taste. This is what Nintendo Spotlight is uh, every week. Games come out on the eShop. We've been getting a lot of them, so I'm trying to filter through what what I would like, what's up my alley, and hopefully in the games that I'm playing here, uh, you guys are finding something interesting, and you might even end up picking it up yourself, and that, that's cool too. Uh, helping out some of these indie devs. We do a lot of indie games here for Nintendo Spotlight, which is kind of nice to give these people that have spent a lot of time, sometimes years upon years upon years, sometimes one or two people teams working on a game tirelessly um, while working their real jobs and then coming out with awesome games. So that does happen from time to time. And it's really cool to be able to showcase them here, give them a spotlight, hence Nintendo Spotlight. So um, catch up with you guys in the chat. Then we're going to jump over to Skyrim. Uh, we'll do a little breakout for the YouTube video over here. But what is up? Yo, a thousand hours, man. It's good to see you up in here. <laughs> I'm super well, man. Uh, yeah, Santa Destroyer and I hit the bar in Frankfurt. I forgot about that. Yo, Santa Destroyer, man. That's another person I haven't heard in a minute from. But I've seen him on Instagram uh, as their their band Instagram, uh, posting up a lot of stuff, which is awesome. Uh, Santa Jaws. I have their CD, too. It's in my bin over there. But I exported it over before I put I put them away. I just like having the physical CDs of stuff. <laughs> Yo, a thousand. Thank you for the host. Or maybe Monster Hunter World? <laughs> Sir Chuck, what's going on? Oh, man. Looks awesome. Yo, this game is so hectic. It is crazy. Nice, he gave me... Yo, that's awesome, dude. Is it the Switch... Is it the Switch Skyrim version? Yes, it is. It is the Switch Skyrim version. The Switch Skyrim version. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, should try to say that three times fast, right? Oh my goodness. Anyways, BRB, yo, Draco, no worries. Alright. I think we're all caught up on chat, which is awesome here. And we're gonna switch it up, so. See what I did there? See what I did there? In order for me to switch it up, I actually gotta switch my micro SDs on my Switch uh, to the one that has Skyrim on it, or at least the update for Skyrim on it, because I don't want to run through that update again on this micro SD card but for the breakout video over on YouTube thank you so much for tuning in this was Dimension Drive from two awesome studios um, $12.99 on the eShop digital only so you can pick it up there and I'm digging it you guys already know I have a guilty pleasure for top-down shooters but this I mean it's not so much a guilty pleasure I just love them and what this does takes it to the next level in terms of like having to look at trying to both evade and continue offense on both screens at the same time or like uh they're run the two screens are running at the same time but your ships are your ship is like switching between the two screens two sides is just nuts and i'm sure once I get to a point where I feel comfortable uh, comfortable enough to play it on hardcore, it's gonna get even more crazy with the bullet hell, uh, <laughs> because we've seen some of some of it in that last uh, that last battle. But um, I'm sure it's gonna get even more crazier in World Two and World Three. I think there's like three or four wor worlds from what I saw on the list on the um, in the level select. But there might be more that they're not not showing. I'm I'm not too sure. I figured you know if the uh, based on the price of the game, there might be three worlds. But then the replayability and the unlocking of the power ups and all that stuff by the data cubes and trying to collect all that stuff seems like it's added replay value, which I'm all about. So once again, Dimension Drive. And if you enjoyed what you saw here on YouTube, give a like, share with friends. Let me know what we do here. We play video games after work. We talk about video games after work. We'll see you guys next time. So with that, take care. Love y'all. And don't go anywhere for the people watching the live stream. We're going to switch it over to Skyrim right now. To the Skyrim. To the Skyrim. I'm just going to pop this out. Don't freak out. I got to shut off my switch and then switch the... Uh, switch the... What should we call it? The micro SD card on here. But how's everybody's Monday doing? Hope you guys are doing good. Um, the holidays are right around the corner. I don't know who's been doing shopping for gifts and all that fun jazz. But uh, 
I'm taking a different approach this year with the gifts and just divvying them out <laughs> week by week. Which is not the normal approach. I like having the tree and whatnot. We celebrate Christmas here. Uh, but, um, you know, trying, trying something different this year. So, been giving the missus a present, a, like, once a week. So, I figured that'll add up to, you know, <laughs> enough presents for all the times that I've worked late where we had something planned. And hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully that'll be good. <laughs> did you know Mega Man 11 is going to be coming to the Switch next year? Yes, I did, sir. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm hyped, dude. I am ready. Um, that was a nice surprise. Just Mega Man 11 in general coming out. That, we're getting the, uh, the Mega Man Collection 1 and 2, the Legacy Collection 1 and 2 coming to Switch. Um, yesterday, the Street Fighter Collection got announced, which I don't know how many different versions of Street Fighter 2 I need to play. Uh, but I like the fact that Third Strike is coming over to Nintendo for the first time ever. And we're also getting, um, oh gosh, the Alpha series, which is dope. Uh, Alpha 3 specifically was my favorite Street Fighter game. I loved Alpha 3. That's where I found Sakura. That's where I learned all the V-ism. That's, that's what I liked about Street Fighter V because they brought back the V-ism um, move was like um, is like the different styles that, of play that you can try. So it was like Sakura V-ism, X-ism, and A-ism and the different approaches that you can take. And then there was RPG elements into it. You can level up your Street Fighter going across the battlefield and it's like what are you serious dude it was right up my alley i loved it oh my gosh so i that's if anything depending on what the price is i'm basically paying whatever to buy street fighter alpha 3 out of everything that's on that list and man street fighter 1 I can't remember the last time that was in any collection. I know Capcom's pulled out collections, and that game has been in there. But Street Fighter 1, man, since the NES, dude, that's crazy. Uh, was Third Strike on the arcade? Third Strike was on the arcade, and then um, ended up on PS2. That was a PS2 game. So, that I mean, that was the only other place I recall. I don't think it left anywhere else other than PS2. Um... I mean, Street Fighter sort of went over to Sony in the PlayStation days. When you think about it, um, we had Alpha, or at least Japan had Alpha and then uh, on the SNES. One of the Alpha games ended up on the SNES, maybe even two, maybe even two. That might have been pushing it. But Alpha 3 was definitely a PS1 game. Um, then you had the Street Fighter EX, which was like the 3D Poly polygonal fighting game <laughs> which that did whatever um and then you had your street fighter 3 third strike after the reiterations on the arcade i guess that one that's where it gets fuzzy for me because i fell off after you know mate basically after two but i played alpha three and that was the one that i was like yeah i'm all about that one alpha three i like played religiously um and then I didn't jump back in until Street Fighter 4. And then they had like a bajillion different versions of Street Fighter 4. And I was just like burned again. Um, and then 5 came out recently. Uh, over the last year, year and a half. And there's still, I, I feel like they're still getting flack for 5. Has that changed since? I mean, they've added more story. They added, you know, more characters and all that stuff. Um I feel like the, you still see it in tournaments and stuff like that. Like, I mean, Capcom's promoting it with their pro tour and everything. They're going, they've been going pro Street Fighter V. Like, that's their baby right there. And then maybe with now this, uh, I don't know if it's r rumored anymore, if it's actually happened, the Fox and Disney deal. Maybe we'll actually see more X-Men, we'll actually see X-Men characters in the marvel series uh, marvel vs capcom infinite because that was sort of lacking on the x-men side which x-men were huge played huge roles in the marvel vs capcom games since the iteration since street fighter vs x-men um and for some reason my switch still hasn't turned on so let's see what's going on there apologies i hate when this happens anyone ever have this issue of like the switch is not turning on in the dock
There we go. Okay. Now it should be coming up. Hello, come on. Oh my god, XSplit. You annoy me sometimes. Not XSplit, sorry, um, Elgato. <laughs> this, yo. Uh, 